recently had an audition and I'm going to show you how I wore my hair in my audition. And I'm also going to show you guys how to do the fishtail braid or how I do my fishtail braid. I actually wore a fishtail braid to school on Thursday and every single person that came up to me was like, oh my gosh, I love your hair, how did you do that? So, I mean, they loved it, and I'm sure the people you run into will love it too, especially if you have long hair. It doesn't work as well on short hair, but if you have longer hair, then it looks, it's a really cool braid. For this look, um, it's for the pigtails, I'm going to do the pigtails first. It's better if you um, part your hair in the middle so that you have even sections of hair on both sides. You can part it on the side if you normally part it on the side, but it doesn't look as good, I don't think. So... What I'm going to do is part my hair in the middle, so I'm just going to take, oh, this is a rat tail comb, by the way. Um, you can use anything, a bobby pin, your finger, just, I just used a rat tail comb because it's a little bit easier to work with. Um, so, I'm going to bring all my hair to the back, and I'm going to go straight up from my nose, and part my hair in the middle. Now, I never part my hair in the middle, but, because I have a calic. Normally when I want to do something in the middle, then I'll blow dry it in the middle, but I didn't do that. My hair's just been parted on the side the whole day, so. So once your hair's parted in the middle, you're going to brush the two sections out so that you have two smooth sections of hair. And then I'm going to start with this side. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your a small section in the front of your head, um, or just a small section in the front, and you're going to start twisting it backwards. So you're going to twist it towards the door, or the door that's behind me. And then when you twist it, you're just going to pick up pieces. So you're twisting and picking up pieces. Can you see this? As you go, and then you're going to start to pick up more and more pieces. And then until you eventually have all of your hair um, in your hand. Then I'm just going to take a clear elastic and I'm going to tie my hair off. I'm going to tie it twice. So. And then you can scrunch it. And then what this creates is kind of a French twist here. And then it kind of bulges out right here so it gives you a little bit more of a volume to it. Um, this is what it looks like. It's seriously like the most simple hairstyle and the fastest hairstyle to do. Um, especially when you get the hang of twisting. You can do so many things with this twist. This is like one of my favorite things to do with my hair is just twist it. Put it into a ponytail, do all this cool stuff. So, I mean, look how fast that was. So, I'm just going to tie it off like this. I'm going to tie it twice and kind of pull it. And there you go, there's the other side of this pigtail. Um, it is seriously so simple. I mean, you could do it in less than two minutes, and it's a very cute hairstyle. It's kind of old-fashioned, I would say. But, you know, it's cute to know how to do. And these twists, I'm telling you, you can do so many things with them. So for the ponytail, I'm going to flip my hair back over to my normal side part. And then what you do for the ponytail is just twist the section of your hair and naturally just start twisting pieces all the way back. Gather it. And if you want to, you can twist it to the back. I'll turn around so you can see. Like this. Or you can tie it off on the other side. Um, so you can twist it around. You get a twist in the back. And you tie it off. And you can kind of pull pieces out. And see, this is just really cute to do as a side ponytail. And um, it keeps your hair or your bangs out of the way if you have bangs. And um, so that, there's so many things you can do with the twist. The pigtails and the ponytail. And the last thing I'm going to show you is a fishtail braid. So what I'm going to do is take all of my hair to one side. I'm going to brush it out. Kind of brush it all over here. Now some of you may already know how to do a fishtail, so then you don't have to watch this, but for the people that don't know how to do a fishtail, it is like the coolest braid ever, and you just get so many compliments. 
So um, these are the layers that kind of fall out, so I'm just going to leave those there. You can curl them. On Thursday, when I went to school, I curled them so that it's a little more body, but just for the sake of showing you, I'll keep them straight because my hair's so bored straight anyway. So what you do for a fishtail is you take two sections like this, and you're going to take one section from the outside, and you're going to bring it to the other section, like so. And you take one section over here, and you're going to bring it to the other side. So basically, you're just crisscrossing um, the pieces. So whichever side you take a piece from, you're going to bring it to the opposite side. Simple, right? And you just do that all the way down. So then naturally when you get to the end, just tie it off with a small hair tie so you can't see it. And then you're going to have your fishtail. Now what you can do um, is you can actually pull some pieces out and widen them and make them a little bit um, messy. And if you have layers like I do, then this piece of hair may fall out. What you can do is just take a bobby pin and bobby pin that hair and then kind of like cover your hair with it and you don't see it and that hair is tucked in and it won't fall out. So there is your video of the various, um, the, the twist and the braid, the fishtail braid. It's like a new way to twist and braid your hair. Subscribe if you haven't. Um, it means so much to me and follow me on Twitter and email me if you have any other questions. All links will be below. Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.